Good morning, Mr. Kress. Good to see you. Where Aloha, are we Ken. this morning? Aloha, Ken. We are um, in my back lanai, my house here in Kailua, Hawaii. Okay, well, let's uh, dive into this. Uh, okay. I would love to get a little bit of your background. I know it's extensive, but if you can try to summarize for us and bring it around to beyond the teams and where we're at present. But that, okay. that's a big journey, but we'd like to hear about it. Ken, thanks for asking the questions. First, I'll start with my career. I was in the Navy for 41 years. Did the majority of that within the Naval Special Warfare community. While an instructor at BUDS was selected for the uh, Navy Physician Assistant Program. Did that and worked in medicine for about a decade with a little bit of in play back to the community. 911 happened, was back with the community and served until my retirement in 2018. So I served from 77 to uh, 2018. And you were a commissioned officer. I was a commissioned officer, that's correct. I retired as a, a commander in the U.S. Navy. I then left SOCPAC. I worked as an analyst for a little bit. I then, while I was at SOCPAC, through fellow teammates and what was going on in their lives, started a program called Beyond the Teams, a nonprofit, which the primary mission is to raise awareness and funds for other nonprofits that are doing great work but need more awareness to their what they're doing and also more funds to service their the community. So you were the brainchild behind uh, dragging us into, which we actually enjoyed, a 300-mile paddle, yep. uh, which was nuts and it was incredible. And yes. we raised quite a bit of money there for the Navy Seal Museum. Yeah, Seal Museum, which was basically yep. the umbrella for the Trident House Charities Program. Correct. And then we did another 150 miler, which had a little more, a little bit abbreviated paddling, but we did a lot more fundraising events on that one. So you did both of those. Right. And now you want to do something uh, that's really kind of out of our general lane, but actually it's in our lane. Like you said, we did the two paddles, which has been great. And we have raised money for the Triton House Charities, which is nested under the National Navy Seal Museum. We also did a thousand mile bike ride. That was actually our, our maiden event where we went from the Virginia Beach down to the museum and we raised money for VIP, a neuro rehabilitation center, which is in San Diego. So this year we've got a few things that, like you said, are a little different. We actually did a uh, surfing canoe contest out here in Hawaii um, a couple weeks ago. That was great fun and got to meet a lot of great people and we hope to continue with that relationship. We also have slated a well project and that's really outside our sphere. This is going to be our first international foray. It kind of ties into what I've been doing on another front with a uh, ministry of helping orphans, primarily in uh, Uganda. It's its start, it's gone back quite a few years, have almost a 20 year relationship with the uh, people there. And through that have come multiple other entities um, with helping out orphans, helping out with education, helping out with a medical clinic. And this is basically just a, a building on that. That building, on that now requires a well project. And the well project is to provide fresh water for students at a high school out in, uh, forgive me, my Uganda is not really good, but it's uh, Sekawunga area. Wow. Uh, Sekawunga province, which is to the west of Kampala in uh, the capital of Uganda. There's a uh, school out there, a high school, and the well is inadequate, insufficient, and needs to be done properly and deeper and we're up for the challenge the challenge is to raise twenty-four thousand dollars to get this well sunk and have it be a sustainable well we've already have thirteen thousand dollars pledged so we're hoping to get the final uh ten eleven thousand dollars through doing this video it's a professional drilling company that's based in uganda they do it uh, mechanized there was some thought of trying to do a manual well, which is not uncommon. Sometimes it's shovel and hoe. Um, sometimes it's just a drill, drill, uh, drill press type mechanism that goes in through the overburden down into the water itself. But where we're drilling, and what's common in Africa is where the, the drilling is not done sufficiently so they don't get all the way through the overburden down into the bedrock. So over time you start getting dirt, seepage, contaminants, 
uh, not only into the water, but actually can jam up the well itself. We have done church ministry, school ministry. We have done clinics, mosquito net programs, just a feeding program, was education program, uh, giving skills with COVID. There was a significant drop and people being able to get by. We did food distribution programs. We did taught girls that were now not able to go to school but needed something to help bring in income for their families. And we uh, started a sewing program. So we've been doing things throughout the year. So this is just a another program. And I really would pr appreciate this is the first time we've opened it up through Beyond the Teens. Um, we appreciate any help, any support, any uh, growing awareness and funds. Okay, well, three things can be done. First thing, donate. We need money. Like I said, we have money pledged. Just help out, and that'd be great. The second thing is subscribe to our social media. We're on YouTube. We have our websites up. We're on other social media platforms, Instagram, etc. So please subscribe. And lastly, share. Share with like-minded individuals. Share with your family, friends, people that have expressed an interest to help those less fortunate. And Continue to follow us as we are doing more and more to help our fellow man, both at home and abroad. So I thank you for your questioning. I thank you for your time. And thank you, everybody, for watching this brief video. Aloha.